Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God and before the angels, ancestors, family and friends to join together these men in holy matrimony. Now we're honored today because this opportunity to unite these two together, because seven years ago could not have happened. Seven years ago, we fought for the right to love and to love freely and legally whoever we choose. And we give thanks for those who fought and we give thanks for those who continue to fight for all of our rights. And with that, we say, Amen. No, don't. A part of me still can't believe we're getting married, but a bigger part of me is so sure when I, when I was ready to marry you, when, when I met you. Looking at us, people might think we're as opposite as black and white. You're the eldest, I'm the bunso. You're perfectionist and I hate perfection. You are disciplined while well, I try to be spontaneous every single time. But despite that, all of our differences in views and beliefs, we are our own people and that, that's what makes us uniquely unified. Down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the most loving and caring person that I ever met. <laughs> you amaze me every day. Um, your love towards your family, <clears throat> your perseverance, your confusing Tagalog. My God, which I find very, very cute. Anyways, your out of this world ideas, your innocence, your quirkiness, your humor, your amazing Sumba skills. Gosh. <laughs> your kindness, your big heart. You inspire me every single day to be better. As you know, I'm the opposite. I'm rough, I'm sometimes doubtful, I'm impatient and fearful, but being with you, I'm a whole lot of different person. I'm a better person, you know? Um, you always make me feel love. That makes me more confident and happy. You take away my fear. I would like to thank my parents that are here today and that both my parents and especially my mom for accepting me for who I am since day one. Dodo, I promise to support you, always and stand by you on our new journey together. I promise to make you laugh and not be so grumpy with you if you promise the same thing. <laughs> I listen to you and I'll try not to nag anymore, but most importantly, I will lovingly continue to annoy you and basag your trip on a daily basis. And pasensyan mo na yung bisaya ko. With that said, hindi ako galit all the time. I just sound galit. I promise to be the best husband to you until our last breath. Thank you. I have never thought I could be loved the way you have loved me. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. She said, you are my best friend. You're my ultimate soulmate. You're the love of my life. Standing here today in front of our family and friends, I can tell you without any uncertainty that I did and I will always choose to be with you. Today, I vow to be the best husband to you. I vow to always encourage you to be better. I vow to love you in failure and in triumph. I vow to be faithful and supportive. I vow to honor the relationship that we have built. I vow to grow old with you for the rest of my life as you as my priority. <laughs> Lastly, I vow to love you forever.
be your Raphael. Take Michael to be your partner to live together under God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, through prosperity or adversity, for better, for worse, in sadness and in joy, to cherish and continuously bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only onto him as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you? <laughs> Michael, um, take Raphael to be your partner, to live together under God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, through prosperity or adversity, for better, for worse, in sadness and in joy, to cherish and continuously bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only onto him as long as you both shall live? I do. And so by the power vested in me in the United States federal government, I pronounce you husbands and partners in life. May no man or woman put asunder to what God has brought together. Enjoy your adventure, you may kiss your groom. Kuya, Kuya Rafi, congratulations to this new chapter in your life. We are very proud of you and so happy. And I would like you to know whatever you want, whatever you need, I will always be here for you. And you always be my brother, my older brother. I love you so much. <laughs> to Kuya Mike. Congratulations also. Since the first day that I met you, I always know that you are be a part of our family already. You are always there for him and I would like to thank you for that, for loving him and being there for him. Moments like this are not just to cherish, but also to treasure. Those of you who doesn't know me, I'm Michael's eldest sister. Michael, you know that I love you unconditionally. You are my source of strength and refuge. You know that I love you so much. And Rafi, we're happy to have you in the family because I know that you will love my brother. Please be sure to love my brother. I, because I know he would love you too. We are so blessed to have you in the family, Rafi. In behalf of my family, I welcome you and your family. We are now one big family. Thank you, good evening, and enjoy the night.